Welcome back, everyone, to another Emacs video here. Uh, today, uh, yeah, the topic of this video is never losing a file uh, using org mode. So basically, um, I did a video a while back about um, using org mode as a content planner, where you bring an item, uh, whether it's uh, an article or a video or a document or whatever you're making, and you put it through a process like a, like a Kanban board kind of thing. Um, I, I don't do that uh, so much anymore. I use my rolling log system. I, I did a video about it a little while back. I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description to that video. But basically, you have one rolling log file where you can use capture templates like this, for example. Control C, C, and then, you know, uh, I have the log entry on the, on the J key, so I can put that in. And, you know, let's say uh, Joe came by, uh, you know, uh, Joe uh, came in and um, he said he was uh, going to uh, Kansas uh, next month. So that's a note, right? So you can do that all day. You can keep notes about anything going on. You can tag it anything you want. And you can really lean on the tag system to help you find things. So, you know, I can look up tags with Joe, tags with uh, Brainstorm um, or projects. So uh, basically, I, I was always wondering, I never completely relied on the tag system because um, I just figured at some point it would get too unwieldy, but I'm surprised by how few tags you can get away with um, in uh, in your everyday work or in, a, in your life if you're using it to track to-do lists and things. Uh, I'm surprised because you can make so many entries, you don't necessarily have to have one entry that would be maybe more than two to three tags at most, I've found. So the tag system is actually pretty powerful, uh, more so than I had thought. But what I'm illustrating here is that you can um, quickly set up a new project uh, or a to-do item. You know, I, I demonstrated how you can just quickly set up another to-do item, and you'll, you'll see that in the, in the system. Uh, but basically, I'm showing how I've set up a project here you know, a few entries down. So now if I want to check in with active projects every day, I can just open up the org agenda, control C, A, and then um, I can do an M to search for a tag, um, not project, process, but project. And all the projects would be listed here. You could even categorize them as I've shown with a, with a property. You know, this is, um, let's say this is a document. So, you can even have different categories for, for different projects. But now let's say you were working on this project a while back and you know you were done with the project, so you, you re-tagged it as done, or you just took off the project tag, let's say. Oops, I brought it back. So, so let's say that now you, you actually, you were finished with that project, it's gone. It was it was a document about uh, my favorite poets. Let's say well, you know whatever it was. Maybe it was a, a blog post, and you just kept working and kept making new entries. Now let's say you needed to get back to that because you needed to reopen that document or you needed to update something, or maybe it was a project that you abandoned um, and you never really got around to finishing it, and then finally you do want to go back. So it doesn't have the project tag anymore. So you know, how are you going to find it? Remember, uh, it uses the org mode attachment system. So it's it's in this complicated uh, attachment directory that you're never going to remember. And um, if you don't remember the name of the file, uh, doing a, a basic file search uh, may not help either. Um, so one of the easiest ways I've found to do this is to go where all the files are saved uh, with the attachment system, and that's into the, the data directory. And um, you don't have to use a directory called data. It could be um, anything. That's just the default for the, the org mode attachments. And uh, I can say, well, you know, this was a document about my favorite poets. So I would bet that Shakespeare's in there. So you can just um, hover over this directory in, in DRED here and do shift A or capital A basically, and that gives you an option to search every file in that directory with a, um, a regex search. Um, I'm not, uh, you know, very good at regular expressions. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, working on them, but, um, you know, I know that I could probably just give, you know, this part, you know, of Shakespeare's name into it and it will pull something up and, and there it is. So that would jump me right into the document. You see it's, um, 
it's in uh, subdirectory 43 and uh, you know this this long hash here sub another subdirectory so you'll never remember that but using that that regex search you can you know find something in that document and you can get right back to it um, so that's that that's one way of doing it but now let's say that you you wanted to bring this project back into the into the flow of things you wanted to start tracking it again so it's not enough to just find the file you also want to re-tag the node in the in the org mode file so that you can put a project tag back on it um, so you go into your file you see here that it starts in a subdirectory 43 so those will be the first two characters of the project of the the nodes id which was used to, to make this directory here. So you could actually then go back into the file and search for these first few characters, which would be 43213, but you know, 432 should probably be, be good enough. So open it back up. Uh, now imagine there's many more entries in this file. You're not just going to see it there. But then, you know, you could do a, um, you could do an incremental search. And, you know, there it is, 432. And now you can re-tag it uh, project. And you can start uh, tracking it again. It'll be back in your agenda. So, so yeah, that's how I, I, I half jokingly, but mostly seriously say, you know, never lose a file um, if you're using this uh, system. As long as um, your, your project, or I should say your, your heading IDs are still intact, you can always find your way back. You can follow the breadcrumbs. You can, you can search. You can get, um, you know, you can get back into your directory and find out what's going on. But that's about it. Thank you for watching. I will probably cut it off there, and uh, I'll see you all next time.